Hello everyone, welcome to the Tuesday forecast and let's take a look at the, the Euro US dollar as usual the first pair on the list so for this one we are stuck in a range still stuck in a range as expected because it's the beginning of the week so we are getting a leg down right here but then it ended with a huge wick so not really anything convicting and not really anything I want to get uh, get into so I'm waiting for the price action to develop a bit more of course we do have the liquidity areas below and above the range as always where people keep their stops so the range bone traders that are trading the selling the top of the ranges and buying the bottom of the ranges they keep their stops below and uh, above the big range structure and that's where usually a lot of liquidity lies and that's where the market makers usually push the price into stop everyone out and then reverse same thing to the upside push into and then reverse that's why we need to be really careful when the price reaches these areas what i'm looking for because this looks very range bound and eu is known for being very range bound is i'm looking for a large conviction to a downside and then a nice trade opportunity or some large conviction to the upside and then a nice also trade opportunity again we can form a v reversal and then start trending up that would be a good sign and this leg can also continue down that would also be good i'm just want i just want to see it move far away from the current structure because this is looking very very range bound and not showing me any sort of potential so then we have the euro japanese yen which is correctively ascending in this area so we can see it's kind of moving in a corrective descending fashion and it's not showing me any high probability uh, setups it is just showing me a big big range there was an opportunity to enter on a trade right here so there was this corrective ascending which we can see in this area right here this corrective ascending and then we did impulse out of it with a nice push but it ended with a wick after that i wasn't looking for any sort of a trade and the entry would also need to engulf two candles which would be a, a big big warning sign so i just definitely was not looking for anything and this would be a losing trade so it is good that i did follow my plan on this one then it did continue down but created a huge wick so it formed a huge wick up huge wick down i'm expecting more of a range and just the overall price action looks very very bad so let's let's see if we will get a nice downtrend get a nice break and retest or a flag same thing up so if we get maybe a v reversal as on the euro us dollar then push up and then st start some sort of a trend get a flag get a break and retest continuation patterns so those would be uh, good opportunities but now we just need to wait a bit more we just need to wait a bit more for i would say wednesday on wednesdays the moves start to develop and the market start to show us some nice setups so that's what we're waiting for we're waiting for wednesday um here we have the aussie and the us dollar and this one is looking range bound in this general area so looking very very range bound and just going from a descending structure into an ascending and just moving in this corrective fashion so some really really bad price action it's not that bad but it's not showing us anything as trend traders we want to see a trend so this is just heavily stuck in a range and i'm looking not looking for any sort of setups in this general area uh, same as on eu i want to see it move away to a downside with some nice conviction and to get some nice setups or for it to move away to the upside and then show me some nice potential and some large impulses with a clean close i don't want to be uh, seeing any wicks of course we need to watch out what happens on the bottom of the range do we just break and retrace or do we actually break and then get some continuations and some conviction in either di direction um and yeah that's about it for au nothing to say just stuck in a range um same as the aussie japanese yen just not showing me any potential the price action is not clean there are wicks everywhere we see huge wicks to the upside huge wicks to the downside right here up huge wick up huge wicks down so some really really bad price action and i'm looking for exactly the same thing and as all in all of the three prior ones so i'm looking for 
large conviction up or I'm looking for that large conviction down and then some nice trades to the downside break and retests flags whichever continuation pattern we get I just want to see uh, a nice trend that's it nothing really more to say on AJ you can just notice how the price action looks really really range bound and just bad bad price action with wicks v reversals everywhere and not a lot of consecutive blue or consecutive red candles compared to the price action we had right here which was in sort of a nice trend to the upside so you can really see the difference between i would say good price action also here really really good price action uh really picking directions right here also i would say this is good price action and then you can compare it to what we have now which is just wicks everywhere and i would say not a lot of volume in the markets and the sellers and the buyers just don't know where to take it up or to take it down that's why we need to be a lot more patient this is now the pound and us dollar which is also stuck in a range i think we're still stuck between the low and the high so yeah we're still stuck between the most recent low and the most recent high we have got huge double wicks which do indicate to us a range so we expected a range to happen right here a range did happen so what i'm looking for i'm looking for a large breakout to the downside or a large breakout to the upside especially on the pound where i need to see a large conviction impulse so i need to see that large push down and then a nice continuation pattern or a large push up also a nice continuation pattern what we don't want to see is just a break and retrace or a break and retrace to the downside that would be a big big warning sign especially on the pound so just be a lot more patient with this one this is not showing us absolutely any sort of potential prior price action did have a nice push down but then this just um, ended up going down a bit more created huge double wicks and this is exactly what you get when you see huge double wicks we can just expect a large range between the low and the high so waiting for the break waiting for the break up or down really simple and really easy to follow now th this is the new zealand japanese yen which is looking this one is looking uh really interesting because it is moving down but correctively so it's moving in a corrective descending fashion as we can see here really not giving me much conviction because we are breaking the lows retracing breaking the highs retracing so this is a prime example of a corrective descending um, we can see that we had a nice push down pullback broke the low retraced broke the high retraced created a huge wick up huge wick down and then continued down but then again i was not looking for absolutely any entry after this i was not looking for any entry because we broke the low retraced broke the high retraced i was expecting a large range so definitely wasn't looking for an entry and then what happened well price did retrace to the entry area so if anyone had an order they would be tagged in now we're going down a bit more but i just ex i'm just expecting for this to give us this corrective descending structure <clears throat> and not give us any nice moves at least not today maybe tomorrow so if this if this descends in a clean manner in a clean sort of a descending fashion i will look for a reversal but only if it's really really clean or if this starts trending down then i'm looking for a nice break and retest or i'm looking for a flag further down this can also reverse up so that it forms a v a range and a push up then i'm looking to buy but the main thing i'm looking for the price action to clean up this is really bad price action we have lots of wicks to the upside lots of wicks to the downside and just volatility and not much conviction you can see there is no consecutive red or blue candles everything is just kind of mixed up what we're looking for is we're looking for a nice steady trend like this and this is just not it so that's it for the forecast i will see you guys tomorrow let's see if the moves uh start happening on a on a wednesday so 
yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.